one dead, at least 21 injured in shooting at Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl rally. One person was killed and up to 21 others, including kids, were injured in a shooting Wednesday afternoon outside Union Station in Kansas City, Missouri, at the conclusion of a celebration for the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win, officials said. Kansas City radio station KKFI confirmed that one of its disc jockeys, a mother of two named Lisa Lopez Galvin, died in the violence that followed the parade. It is with sincere sadness and an extremely heavy and broken heart that we let our community know that KKFI DJ Lisa Lopez Galvin, host of Taste of Tejano lost her life today in the shooting at the KC Chiefs rally. Our hearts and prayers are with her family, the station said in a Facebook post on Wednesday night. This senseless act has taken a beautiful person from her family in this KC community, the statement added. The number of victims from the shooting is still evolving as law enforcement continues their investigation. Officers took three people into custody, Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves said during a news conference Wednesday, updating a previous tally of two suspects brought in. One suspect was captured after a foot chase with officers, she said. I'm angry at what happened today, Graves said earlier in the evening. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. This is not Kansas City, she added at the end of the news conference. Graves said a motive for the shooting is still unknown. At least one firearm has been recovered, she added. The Super Bowl is the most unifying event in America, President Biden said. For this joy to be turned to tragedy today in Kansas City cuts deep in the American soul. Today's events should move us, shock us, shame us into acting. Vice President Kamala Harris added, Today was supposed to be a day of celebration and joy in Kansas City. Instead, it is another day where America has experienced senseless gun violence. It doesn't have to be this way. It's unclear yet how many fans attended the celebration, but NPR member station KCUR said that during last year's victory parade close to one million flooded downtown for the rally. In preparation for the expected crowd size Wednesday, 800 law enforcement officers were on scene for the parade, Graves said. The heavy police presence helped in guiding fans to safety once the shooting began and also in administering life-saving aid to gunshot victims, she said. The shooting, west of Union Station, started right after the parade rally with Chiefs players including Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey had ended, Graves said. Videos of the scene shared on social media show crowds of people running away from Union Station as officers rushed in. Many families were in attendance. KCUR reported that Children's Mercy Hospital received 12 patients from the rally, 11 of them children and 9 of those with gunshot wounds. Fire Chief Ross Grundison couldn't immediately confirm the ages of the victims. But doctors and administrators at Children's Mercy confirmed at a press conference that they treated the children. Their ages ranged from 6 to 15. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas said during Wednesday's press conference that he had debated bringing his own child to the celebration. He was at the parade along with his wife and mother, he said. I, like many others, ran for safety, when the shooting began, Lucas said. In a message directed at the city's residents, the mayor said he is angry and heartbroken. This is a day that a lot of people look forward to, something they remember for a lifetime. What they shouldn't have to remember is the threat of gun violence marring a day like this, injuring them and their families, he said. Other dignitaries were at the victory rally, as well. They included Missouri Gov. Mike Parson and First Lady Teresa Parson, as well as Kansas Gov. Laura Kelly. State law enforcement personnel are assisting local authorities in response efforts. As we wait to learn more, our hearts go out to the victims, Gov. Parson posted on X, formerly Twitter. Kelly said she was evacuated from the scene and, out of harm's way. Mayor Lucas said the Chiefs have been in contact with officials and shared that the team's players, coaches and staff were all accounted for and safe. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who just hours before was riding triumphantly through the city, also took to social media following news of the tragedy. He posted, praying for Kansas City. The day started off with thousands of cheering fans draped in the team's colors of red, gold and white as members of the team rode a bus through the city's downtown. The parade was scheduled to begin at 11 a.m. Local time with a rally to start at Union Station right after the parade ended, around 12.45 p.m. Police issued reports of shots fired at around 2.30 p.m. CST. This tragedy comes after Kansas City suffered a record year for homicides in 2023, according to KCUR. Last year, 185 homicides were recorded, the most in its history and surpassing the previous record set in 2020. Through 45 days of 2024, the shooting was already the 49th mass shooting of the year, according to figures compiled by the Gun Violence Archive. The site defines a mass shooting as any event in which four or more people are shot or killed. It was also the third in Kansas City alone.